And Nick is saying, if there is no individual mind and only universal mind exists, why I am not able to know others' thought and memories? Another very, very frequently asked question. And the I that is trying to know other thoughts and memories is this limited mind. Is this limited mind. You have taken a limitation simply because you wanted to isolate yourself from the uh, other thoughts and memories of uh, uh, universal mind. The thoughts and memories are happening in the universal mind and uh, there is an appearance of uh, a limited individual here and that uh, limitation is exactly this isolation from the other memories and thoughts and that is why you are not able to know it. If the limitations are taken away then you are all the thoughts and memories. You are all the thoughts and memories. You means this limited individual you see. So there is no individual mind. The limitations appear in the universal mind. The limitation appear as this uh, uh, idea that all there is is this mind, my mind. It cannot see beyond this thing. That is the limitation. And that is what I mean when I say when you look through a pinhole on the, car, on the black cardboard. Right now our situation is like that. We are looking through this pinhole. We do not know what is on my left, what is on my right. That is... We know only that which the senses are telling us, isn't it? What can the senses tell us? The senses are like pinhole. What can the senses tell us? The senses only tell that which we call as physical. Like we can see the bodies of other people. We can see objects, few objects here. But we cannot see all the activity of the mind. That is the illusion of the individuality, you can say. Not being able to see is exactly the individual not being able to see everything. If you take it away, if you take this, uh, you know, cardboard away, what happens? Everything floods into your eyes. All views will come into your eyes. Imagine if you were, uh, you are able to see everything. It will be a meaningless experience, experience, isn't it? I again give you a metaphor because kind of very difficult to imagine that. Uh, imagine if uh, there are 8 billion people here and you get thoughts of all the 8 billion people here. You become aware of all the 8 billion people's thoughts. It will be hellish experience. <laughs> because I don't think they think anything useful anyway. So, and if you are able to see everything at all, then what will be the experience like? It will be pure noise and a white screen in front of your eyes. That is all you will be able to hear. That is all you will be able to see. Let us say, if you are able to uh, smell everything that exists in this world, on this planet, what will be the smell like? It, it won't be any meaningful experience. You can smell something like a flower or a fruit only when it is isolated, only when it is one experience at a time. That is the whole <clears throat> kind of point of uh, taking on a limitation. Otherwise, this wholeness, this Brahman, Nirgun Brahman, wouldn't have taken it on. Uh, who would like to give up his own uh, freedom? Not possible. So, it is kind of uh, advantage if you can only experience one thing at a time and exclude all the experiences. This is, this is an advantage here. In absence of this limitation, there won't be any experience. Remember it. There is no individual, but there is this experience of being limited. That is what we call as individual, isn't it? But when looked through uh, the point of view of the self, there is no limitation actually. The limitation itself is an appearance. It is for the time being. And let me tell you what is the experience of uh, um, experiencing everything. It is Shunya. When you experience everything, it looks like nothing. <laughs> I, you know, I can explain it. I can explain it. Uh, uh, let us uh, go back to our metaphor of movies. Like many people know this metaphor that I usually give it. Uh, let us assume there is a screen, white screen, and uh, one movie is playing on that screen. Now you can clearly see what is happening, you see. Now project another movie on the same screen, exactly same place. I am not saying in one box, one movie, second box, second movie, no. Overlap the other projection on the same movie, like only one screen full of two movies. You can still see some things, isn't it? It is like um, sometimes we, we come to know the thoughts of our friends or our um, like child or wife or husband or something, you see. When you live in close proximity with people, you will sometimes get this uh, like 
paranormal stuff happening <laughs> you will some the mind sometimes breaks the barrier and gets the thoughts uh, but uh, you it is like that you know two movies playing uh, but it will look like only one movie is playing but some fancy stuff is happening very very strange things are happening here sometimes there will be one actor from one movie and sometimes there will be another actor from another movie but you will think only one movie is playing because you don't know somebody has projected the second movie so this is how the telepathic uh, communication looks like it looks like my thought and uh, whenever there is telepathic communication people don't do not know it they assume that it is my thought you see that i have ex- explained in a lot of detail in uh, the podcast episode on influences of the mind if anybody is interested there i went into like a lot of detail how the mind influences the other mind so there is no real individual mind here it is getting the influences it is actually ignoring most of the influences that are coming from other minds or you want to call them other minds other parts of the universal mind we are ignoring almost 99.9% of that the little bit that gets into this <laughs> limited piece of mind we think it is my mind we think that it is my it is being thought by me the memory is mine and the mind is extremely capable of producing this illusion of it being my memory or my my thought because when you look at what the mind is doing the thoughts and memories and desires they are already happening the mind then owns it there is a process in the mind that owns oh it is mine it is mine so like nick is saying oh i can see my thoughts no they are not your thoughts actually they are the thoughts of the universal mind the awareness has been limited up to this much that is what you are experiencing so let us go back to the metaphor of a movie uh, let us project 10 more movies on the same screen like it is like getting the thoughts impressions influences from 10 people around you now it it is going to be kind of very very confusing experience you can see that there are some movements on the screen something is you know flashing on the screen but now there is no way to make any sense of what is happening in the screen now project a thousand movies like 8 billion movies on the same screen what will be the your experience now nick nick can understand you see you can now uh, visualize like what will hap- happen if billion movies are playing on the same screen it will be total chaos it will be no experience or it will be dark because the light is now blocked almost or it will white which is equal to dark there is nothing to see you see the experience is always dual like it is a mixture of black and white if it is all white no experience if it is all dark no experience so whatever is your favorite color you can assume it the color is on the screen nothing is happening <laughs> so when you limit things the experience becomes meaningful and that is the answer to your question why i cannot experience everything and uh, let me tell you it is not really true once your knowledge stops for uh, expanding the mind will expand the area of the mind that is now enclosed will uh, in a tiny part which is our body actually senses it is totally attending to the senses isn't it it is ig- ignoring everything else so once this is kind of there is letting go of this body happens which will happen gradually it won't happen tomorrow then the mind the area of the mind that is within your awareness will expand that is sure to happen i have seen it happening for myself and for my guru for many many people they sit there and they come to know what, what is going on you see very famous stories are from um, uh, one guru that i like a lot uh, neem karoli baba is no more but uh, his disciple ramdas has uh, like pen down he has recorded all these exp- his experiences with neem karoli baba and you will find there are extraordinary experiences there now i do not ask anybody to believe them blindly because if it is not your experience that it is not then it is not true so just continue the purification of your mind and you will find that not only these current experiences and the current memories and thoughts and the perceptions are not yours nothing is yours nothing is yours there is no limitation the limitation that uh, is there is to produce a specific kind of experience that limitation is taken on by the causal body it is a bigger experience than um, the physical body experience and the limitations of the causal body are taken on by the universal mind just to have a specific experience 
it is all collected back in the universal memory there is no individual memory so who is actually experiencing through the pinhole the universal mind is experiencing itself through the pinhole you see in the memory is of the memory of the universal mind it's not your memory the limitations are taken on by the universal mind not your limitations they won't stay don't worry about it enjoy the experience and you will be able to know other thoughts and memories and you will regret <laughs> This is the best experience for you right now. Uh, Ajay is saying it seems impossible to stop experiencing. So which means that you are always experiencing. Uh, you see when you said how to be, continue the experiencing. Let me read what he said. How to stay in the experiencing. Is there uh, even a second when the experiencing is not there? Well you see. And the illusion here is that I am not experiencing. now who is having this illusion who is having this illusion that i am not experiencing there is the experience of this thought also that oh i am never in experiencing how to get back into experiencing <laughs> it is just a mind chasing its tail like a dog is chasing its tail you know the mind is trying oh where where will where will i find the experiencing it is happening you see in form of this seeking and that is yeah, that is you see chasing its own tail just remind yourself oh, i was always experiencing i am experiencing right now experiencing is here and it will be there there is nothing actually there is this timeless eternal experiencing don't believe what your mind is telling yes what you think is not experiencing are different states of the mind he is saying the it looks like the mind uh, fails to uh, look at the experiencer because it is busy attending to forms Uh, well do not give precedence to the mind the mind is not primary only the experiencer can experience so the mind cannot experience the mind is an experience itself so mind cannot look the mind is not something which is endowed with the quality of looking it is something which appears in consciousness it does not have consciousness of it a separate consciousness which will look at your real consciousness it is not like this so yes the mind is objects the mind is engaged in objects so let it be the experience is engaged in looking at the play of the mind there is never a moment in your life when the experience is not there probably he wants wants to be in the samadhi uh, now uh, just like i said you are always in samadhi not any kind of samadhi you are always in the nirvikalp samadhi your always uh, your consciousness is always without content there is no content in the consciousness what is appearing is always illusion it is same thing which is looking at itself it, uh, when i am looking at objects i am looking at myself when i am looking at the body i am looking at uh, myself when i am looking at the thoughts same thing when i am looking at other people it is me so when there is this fluctuation of the mind when and there is forgetting that oh look i am busy in uh, um objects i am busy in, act- in activities i am busy in, busy in uh, worldly activities lowly activities <laughs> that is just ignorance that is just ignorance that is a thought that appeared in the mind which kind of try to divide the experience uh, into um, a separate experience of world and a separate experience of the experiencer it is not possible just acknowledge that there is this thought come back to the awareness come back to the experiencing whenever you forget and the mind cooks up a story that i need to pay more attention to what is experiencing no it's not possible you see the attention is kind of activity of the mind you can do that but it is already happening <laughs> that which is experienced is you only you need to dissolve the separation which can be done by critically examining your mind like why did the mind say that i am not the experiencer why did the mind say that i can look at the experiencer critically examine these thoughts they are all kind of made up things there is no reality behind that the experiencer never goes away the experiencing never stops this is our direct experience everything else is thoughts in the mind do not buy that stuff okay ajay is saying i will examine well the examining should not happen in future the examining happens in the now so anyway anyway 
if you want to do it tomorrow do it tomorrow but i have seen that examining is uh, the critical examination starts now as soon as you hear the words that i said there is no future there it is instantly available to you the remembrance does not is not going to happen from tomorrow it is available to you now and it is timeless like remembrance is uh, coming back into timelessness from the activity of the mind which is time if they if uh, you are thinking that it will happen tomorrow it will happen um, kind of next year when i grow up when i progress spiritually then uh, it is a wrong concept it is a wrong idea it will never happen like this if it is not happening now if you are not letting go of the mind now it will you will never let go of it now i'm not saying that you are incapable of doing this and then tomorrow or after one year you will become capable of doing this no it is not also like this so the opportunity is now the opportunity to look is now is all